This is our hippos OP. If this is actually good content, we gonna upload this. Cause why not? Yo, animals is like some of the wildest stuff. You know what I'm saying? So like, like, it's just animals are just so just people. I don't know. We gonna see. Let's see with this. Oh! Oh! Okay, okay. Okay. Shit. Yo, Hippo said, Ugh. Ugh. This episode is sponsored by Dashlane. Africa, the game's hardcore server. On top of the potentially lethal heat and disease debuffs, many of the most powerful builds in the game are playable only on the Africa server. Everyone knows the big names. Elephants are the biggest, cheetahs Fetch! are the fastest, cobras are the most venomous, etc. However, one of the builds that frequently gets overlooked is the hippopotamus. Even though none of their stats are the best in a single category, there are things that they do better than anything else. So today I'm going to give an overview of the hippopotamus's stats and abilities, talk about its good and bad matchups, and where I'd rate it in the overall tier list. I've already done one video that sort of touches on all these things, but since it was one of the first videos I ever made, it's pretty lacking in quality. So hopefully this guy will do a better job doing the topic justice. Was that a bear? It was a it was a it was a hippo and it killed a lion. Well, it just chopped the damn lion almost head off, clean off. Oh my god. They said that's my mama. Jesus. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. I like how he puts in a game Hippos form. This are actually near tank build of the African aquatic meta. So Their the success build. comes from a combination of phenomenal stats and from specking into abilities that allow for some pretty ingenious exploitation of the game's water physics, which I'll get into in a bit. But first, their stats. So you probably notice that the hippo stats are, in a word, phenomenal. They have one of the highest HP levels of any land build, second only to the elephant. Normally, builds with one unusually high base stat tend to have major shortcomings in other areas, but the hippo simply doesn't. While its intelligence is only average, all the rest of their stats far outclass most other African builds. They have great damage, high defense, and even have great- said, all right, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Stealth for a build in such a high weight class. But perhaps the most surprising is their mobility level, which relates to how their abilities let them engage in physics engine exploits- Ain't no fucking earlier. way. That's a so hippo swimming like that? in addition to like high run speed on land, hippos are also unbelievably mobile in the water. Now, normally when designing your character to be fast in the water, you spec into traits like you know, water mobility. Things like a streamlined body, fins, flukes, webbed feet, all these things strictly buff water speed and usually are the go-to for players trying to take their character to new depths in the aquatic meta. The hippo player base decided to do exactly none of that, instead dumping most of their evolution points in- <laughs> The comments is... <laughs> Bruh. Yo, huh? That was swimming like it was a whale. Yo. Somebody called their mama hippo in the comments, I don't know. The hippo player base decided to do exactly none of that, instead dumping most of their evolution points into pure bulk and muscle. As a result, hippos are so dense that, unlike most animals, they do not float. This lets them be one of the only builds that can actually use the run movement option underwater with any success. So yeah, hippos, I did not despite know not that. actually being able to swim, have one of the best aquatic movement options in the game, and they didn't even have to spend any evolution points on aquatic mobility to do so. So, hippos have four signature abilities, the first being their water dash ability that I just explained. Their second ability That's is their two inch skin. This ability is the reason behind their high defense level and it grants Ew. them some of the best resistances in the game, particularly to the common threats in the African server. It grants them their total immunity to slash and bite type damage. Hey, yo. Oh my god, I miss RuneScape so much. All these RuneScape hit point hit markers, but bruh, this is wild. I never yo, this you can learn on the internet. Where can I buy one? Facts. This is like a, a little tank. He literally called them tanks. They're like little tank animals. Freaking server. It grants them their total immunity to slash and bite type damage, since claws and teeth simply are too short to pierce their skin. This lets them shrug off the vast majority of standard attacks in the African meta, and is also crucial for letting them survive attacks even from groups of enemies, which is normally the answer to defeating a high HP target. Defending from physical attacks is important, but it's just as critical to make sure your elemental resistances are adequate too. 
because hippos have specced into the hairless trait in order to minimize mobility debuffs in the water. They're highly vulnerable to solar damage. In order to mitigate this issue, hippos have specced into sweat that grants them UV resistance and, as an added bonus, grants them resistance to infection, another hugely beneficial trait to have when you spend most of your time in unclean water, potentially with open wounds. The only downside is that while active, it gives the hippo players a reddish tint, temporarily lowering their stealth level. Their last special trait is their tusks. Hippos haven't specced into carn- Yo, honestly, I, I did. How did these, how did these shits die? <laughs> Yo, oh my God, but bro, I, I I feel like I read this somewhere that hippos have one of the strongest like um um what do you what would you call it in a bite like just they they can like just, just like crush a watermelon like it's nothing like like you thought like they I I literally watched a video where they threw a watermelon in a hippo's mouth and he just bit down and just like it's not it's not like bites it's like it's like a pressure. Like it's like this it's like a, a scientific term for it. It's like when they bite down the amount of pressure force. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. But bro, it's, these things is crazy. I didn't know they could do all this though. These niggas running underwater like they fucking cyborgs. Carnivory or even a They need to nuke these They're things. They're strictly herbivorous and can't gain any XP from meat. However, regardless of this fact, they have one of the most damaging God bites. Damn! In bro! On top of the sheer force yeah. of the bite itself. See, I saw this video. A ton, by the way. A, a, a ton, a ton, a ton. These is baby bazookas. A ton. I'm finna go to the store. You might be off when I get back. Probably. But you be easy, sis. But yeah, a, a ton. In their bite force, bruh. Tusks deal massive damage to anything they puncture. But on top of the hippo's damage potential. Their tusks offer another important benefit, intimidation. So the most effective intimidation techniques are the ones that can be quickly switched on and off. A coral snake's colors are always bright, and a spider is always creepy, but hippos aren't always terrifying. In fact, most of the time they appear non-threatening, yet in yeah, instant, so they can crank up the intimidation to 100 just by opening their mouths. Oh my god! A hippo player with intimidation active is one of the most intimidating things in the entire game. Easily being able to scare off even some of the bulkiest builds like rhinos. Oh my yo, he's about to take that okay, rhino so head off. Hippos sport one of the most comfortable matchup spreads possible. Because they're highly resistant to bite and slash attacks, most of the relevant predator matchups, such as crocodiles, lions, hyenas, and painted dogs, are highly favorable for the hippo. On top of this, the hippo's own attacks can one yo, shot. Yo, I any actually of those predators. See, I seen this. I seen this video. Them hippos was fucking this crocodile up, bro. Oh my god. I actually, yo, who recommended this? Cause this is, we gonna watch one of these a week or something, bro. I love some animal shit like this. I ain't know it was gonna be like this. I love this shit. His, he breaking everything down. I love this. As for bad matchups, any builds that focus on stab type weaponry can definitely give a hippo a hard time. In particular, elephants Probably and elephant. rhinos both have long enough horns or tusks to pierce the hippo's thick skin and deal critical damage to the hippo's ah, challenge them. Damn. Fortunately, the rhino's low intelligence makes it highly susceptible to intimidate abilities, so that matchup is by no means unwinnable. Elephants, though, they'll walk straight through a group of hippo players, knowing none of them will challenge it. Also, ironically, one of Yo, the worst- elephants are, are low-key animal Fridays? Maybe, maybe. But shit, me, damn. You did it, Moonshine? Bro, this crazy. This, I like this though. I like shit like this. That shit probably hurt, bro. Yo, facts. First matchups for a hippo. Man, so I'm not going to the zoo. No hippo, more. Since a hippo's tusks do have the potential to pierce their defenses, the last important matchup to discuss for them is how they fare against humans. And in this regard, they've got one of the best records of all. Obviously, they still lose to the highly advanced equipment that humans have recently unlocked. But aside from that. Humans don't have any oh, way to Oh, I remember this video. Been... Yo, this As was a, result, uh, that was a, the... uh, that was a uh, Jumanji. Highest KD ratio versus humans in the entire game. Really? Even special high level mounts like boats and trucks can be taken down by a hippo. God so damn! So what do hippos you belong on the tier list? <laughs> oh. Considering how they're basically unstoppable tanks that manage to spec into an excellent semi-aquatic playstyle without sacrificing any land-based abilities to do so, it's tough to argue that they're anything but S tier. Yo. They easily control any rivers or lakes that they're in, being even more dominant than crocodiles. 
In fact, while currently the vast majority God of the Hippo damn. player base is in the African server, a few of them have recently broken into the South American meta. Now, hippos have one of the lower spawn rates in the game, so it'll be a while before we can really assess their viability in servers oh, outside of Africa. It, it takes them 243 days to be born, though. Dominant builds in South America, too, especially since Jesus. they have great matchups against the top tiers there, too, like the Cayman and the Jaguar. The Piranha player base might give them a hard time, though, so we'll have to wait and see. Their thick hide offers a lot of protection, but with hundreds of bites chipping it away, even the hippo might struggle. Protecting your hit points is critical to survival in the current meta. Facts. But perhaps equally important is protecting RuneScape. your I love passwords. RuneScape. And that's where today's sponsor, Dashlane, comes in. Dashlane is what I personally for my device. Believe me, percent okay. off. Yeah, the rest of it. I like that. Right, okay. Okay. I like that. Ad time. Yeah, it was a little bit of ads. Thank you for the follows. I liked it that. Our hippos OP. I'm going to subscribe to this. Tear Zoo, bruh.